I'm gonna try to make chest boats in vanilla Minecraft using only command blocks. So the cool thing about Minecraft boats is that they can hold two of any entity, one in the front and one in the back. And it would be really easy if we could just put a chest in the back here. But sadly, chests are blocks and not entities. Here is my proof. I am jumping on it. It is not an entity, it is a block. But what if there was an entity that was a chest? Oh wait. There is. You may have already thought about it. It's a very simple chest to mine card. There you go. This is in fact an entity right here. So if we summon a boat, but have a chest to mine card be one of the passengers, then I think these are attached if I get in. Well, all right, we have a boat. There's a chest in the boat. You can even open the chest and everything works fine. Uh, we're done, right? No. Now this works great as a proof of concept, but we still need to figure out how to do this in survival mode. And uh, ignore the googly eyes on my boat. That's something only people that watch my Twitch streams would understand his name is biggie the boat and speaking of twitch don't forget to subscribe on youtube as well because we are actually skyrocketing towards 1 million and it's crazy the first thing i want to do is get rid of this ugly minecart because why should that be there you know but that does come with an issue which is that i'm not sure it's possible to make an invisible minecart bam okay no that didn't work so let's try summoning it with the effects already okay nope let's try instead of a potion effect maybe we can just do invisible invisible true there we go and it totally worked it it see you can't see it it's right look look oh it's invisible all right i have one idea and it's a little weird command block it's a command block it's my ideas are always command blocks we are going to set the rotation of the minecart to be 180 and for all you you math class takers out there 180 means this will just go upside down what i'm hoping will happen is it flips upside down the chest remains here and the minecart might stick out underneath the boat but you won't see it inside the boat and i forgot if anyone's seen the video where we made the sphere in minecraft uh you can see oh uh they're extremely inconsistent and very buggy so let's just try it maybe making this a repeat command block yeah then it constantly makes it do it okay although it's still visible i mean this does look pretty cool though wait if we change this from 10 to like 5 and i step over here oh i scare him let's sneak up on him chat let's sneak up on him boo i don't think this is actually gonna do much but it's funny and you know Minecraft's a fun game, but you know, I think I have an idea. Let's go back to Sphere. How Sphere works is if we press this, it'll probably just do the weird thing again. Yeah, uh, you may have noticed the blocks aren't attached to the minecart. And that's because if we set the display block to something custom, we can set the display offset, which is how far away that block is from the minecart. So if we summon a boat with a passenger of chest minecart, but it has a custom display tile and the offset is 45, then there should Nothing, nothing would happen. Of course, nothing, of co <laughs> see, I tricked you. Let's just try normal minecart. And, oh, huh? Well, it appears that no matter what you do, as long as this minecart is in a boat, the display block doesn't appear regardless. But I'll share my plan at least. My plan was to move the minecart like a hundred blocks down, but then have the display block be a hundred blocks up. And so that like the minecart would be way down under the world, but the chest would still be in the boat but that's i tried i tried oh well wait a minute i have an easy fix Boop. and boom there we go i'm just so clever i'm just so amazingly intelligent i am the smartest person i can't lie though this does this does look pretty cool just sitting here with a little tiny chest in it then it goes in the back as you move around like, like this is just cool it looks pretty cool but don't forget we still need to figure out a way to make this work in survival so the plan is Pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to put a chest on top of a boat and a recipe and have it make a certain boat that when you place it down, it turns into this. Never mind, I forgot something. If you've seen my video where I added all of Minecraft's most wanted recipes, you may remember a part where I mentioned that you can't actually make any recipes that have data attached to them. So uh, we can make the recipe, but it'll only give us normal boats. And that's a little disappointing. But what if instead of that, we didn't use a recipe at all? What if we made it so that all you had to do was place a boat on top of your chest like this, or a chest on top of your boat, and then it just goes down into the boat. Or if you want to be even cooler, you'll drive your boat through the chest and then it'll attach onto that. I think we can work with this, yeah. So here are our command blocks. 
And what this one does is it checks for all boats with a chest above it. And if there is a boat with a chest above it, it gives that boat the chest boat tag. This command block will constantly check for boats with that chest boat tag. And if there are any, it will summon the boat with the actual chest my cart in it on top of that. We'll then break the chest that was above the boat and then kill the original boat. And so what that means in simpler terms is that we can't actually attach the chest to the boat. So what we're gonna do is whenever you drive the boat under the chest, and instead gets rid of these and spawns that where these were. So as an example, I drive through and then it gets rid of the old stuff and then spawns a new chest boat right where we were. And now just for the safety test, we do wanna make sure this works in survival mode. So let's go in survival mode, drive through, and there we go. We have a chest boat, nice. But uh, there's, there's still one very large issue we haven't actually uh, addressed yet. And it's very simply, what if you drive your boat under a chest but the chest has all of your valuable diamonds in it. Ah, yes, I know, a very common occurrence. Uh, but you see, if you drive through, then, um, oops. You're, there's nothing, all the, all the items are gone. So we're gonna add a command block that copies the items from the chest into the chest minecart. Although actually, actually, you know, we should probably do that before we get rid of the chest because this is, yeah, okay. There we go, we put the items a second because you can't really take the items out of the chest if you get rid of the chest. So let's try this out, make sure our lever's on. Let's make a chest. Let's fill it with saplings. There we go, team trees. Woo, team trees. Look, oh, look at all my trees. Oh, those are all my, I, I made those all myself. We're gonna go under here and, oh, I've made a mistake. I've made some, I've done something wrong. I've done something wrong. Please help, they never end. All right, I think the issue is that it's just not getting rid of the chest. So if we just remove this replace, maybe set block will work. I don't know. The set block command is like really buggy and sometimes it just doesn't do what it's supposed to. So let's, uh, let's make a chest with chests in this spot right here. There we go. Very distinguishable. We'll get our boat. We'll drive through. And now if we look in our chest, that's a boat. If we look in our chest, there we go. Okay, there we go. It works. 